All right, so we've reached the final lesson here for Venture. It's called Your Business Snapshot. Um, when I went through to set up these slides, it didn't seem like there were that many questions uh, on this last post-test. So I just want to kind of share. I think some of this is kind of an overlap. I feel like lesson three was kind of really, really heavy uh, in a lot of new terms. I don't think you're going to see uh, quite as many new terms uh, here. Um, so we've already talked a little bit about marketing plan. You know, starting a business starts with a plan. Um, so a marketing plan should include uh, where uh, a person wants to sell her product or his product. Um, you know, do they want to sell that online? Do they want to sell it? You know, where's the location of the business going to be? Um, a price needs to be established. If you watched remember the Shark Tank, uh, the Ed Puzzle that I assigned to you, you know, that was often the question of the sharks is, well, what's your price point? Like, what are you planning on pricing your item at? So that's going to be part of it. You know, it's got to compete with competitors, but at the same time, um, it needs to cover, you know, the cost of production and make a profit. Um, so you can't, uh, you know, underprice it, you can't overprice it. Um, and then also um, a description of the people in the target market. Who is the, who is the product uh, really after reaching? Um, so those are all things to include in a marketing plan. Uh, this is a kind of a new term. So value proposition uh, is really what makes um, features and benefits that make that product or business unique. So I think it's really kind of easy to think about particular products that we find unique or, you know, interesting. Um, you know, whether that's, you know, the latest cell phone that can do different things. Uh, I just got a new cell phone and, you know, part of the attraction was, uh, you know, the new features. I and mean, it's got a better camera than my other one. And so kind of thinking about a product and making and developing it in such a way that it offers something unique. If it offers just the same thing that somebody can get down the road, um, you know, why would you really be compelled to buy that over the over the competition? So, um, value proposition is <clears throat> really what makes that product unique. This is something we've talked about already quite a bit. Um, a business pitch, you know, is really you're just sharing briefly about information uh, about your business. Um, to people in an engaging way. Um, so, you know, those same kind of things we talk about in the marketing plan, um, plan and strategy would be included here. Price of the item, who um, your target market is, um, cost to produce an item even. Um, so those are kind of like the key parts where you're sharing that. You've already seen uh, examples of that. Uh, these are some things that you should include in a pitch. Um, the problems that the product or service solves or the demands it meets. So, you know, that's the whole purpose of creating a product is that it provides a solution to something. Um, so whoever you're wanting to invest in your product or starting your company needs to know um, what problems it's solving. You'll need to discuss how the product or service is different. Again, you know, it's about being um, unique. Um, that it offers something that isn't already out there. And, and that simply could be, it may be a product that's offered, but maybe it's not offered in your area. And, you know, you want to start a new restaurant, but your restaurant, um, you know, it's going to bring a certain type of dining experience that doesn't exist in your town. Or, um, you know, it could be a certain type of company that just nobody really has uh, in your area. So it's not necessarily it has to be a new product, but maybe its location is new in that area. And then clear reasons why the potential customers and investors should care about the business. So um, that's probably connected. Three is connected with one and two, obviously. And market research. Um, so market research is when we, um, you conduct market research on your target audience before uh, building your market plan. And the reason for that is you need to consider who your potential customers are before deciding on marketing strategies because that's going to change things right like if a product is really geared towards young people how you advertise for that may be different you know um 
I don't know about you guys, do you listen to the radio very much, you know, or would it be, are you more reached through ads that are placed in TikTok or other things of social media? So that would be something that a business would consider if they were marketing something to you, they may not want to run a radio ad because if you're not listening to the radio, you know, then they're spending money on advertisements that are not going to reach you. Um, so marketing strategies only come after um, you've done market research. And I think I shared in a previous um, video that, you know, sometimes you'll get surveys. I had one recently uh, for a product that I got and it was just asking about market research. Would I use this service? Would I use that one? Trying to understand customers better so that they can develop a strategy that's going to work uh, for their business. And that is the final slide. So there, there was only like six questions um, that I was seeing in the answer key for the post test. And usually there's at least 10. So I'm a little puzzled by what's going on there. But watching this video completely should help you get through and pass uh, that final uh, module in Venture. Thank you for watching.